Nothing scares me most than repeating a cycle. Unnecessarily. Growing up, I saw many people in my life going through cycles. Now, at the time of them going through these cycles, I did not see them as cycles. I saw them as just repeating the same thing again. It would be whether it was relationships, whether it was a job, whether it was patterns, patterns in their ways where they say I quit and go back to it or say I'm done with this thing and go back to it. I'm done with this person and go back to it. Either way, repeating cycles has become the scariest thing for me to do. Repeating something and expecting for it to deliver a different outcome the second, third, fourth, or 10th time is pure insanity. And if you're watching this video, you're very far from insane. Because you are watching this video, you are have already been chosen for something different. You've already been chosen for something more. You're on this channel, you've attracted this video because you are far from insane. So stop acting like it. That's it. It sounds so simple until you have to put action and it's not. When people would talk like this to me, it used to annoy me and I would say, get out of my face. I don't know why you're talking to me. I don't know why you're giving me this advice. I don't want to hear it. I was not receptive to receiving constructive criticism because it hurts my feelings. But when things started making sense, it's no longer hurting my feelings. This is constructive to my growth. When you start to take things less personally, it becomes a growth opportunity. Take it constructively and positively. That constructive criticism can turn into success. You'll be thanking that person for the rest of your life. Repeating cycles is the scariest thing. It shows that you are insane. You are not in control of your thoughts. You're not in control of your reality. Repeating cycles is a sign that you are out of control. Out of control of your own destiny. I'll be telling you guys the three rules I've used to stop repeating cycles. The first rule to stop repeating those unwanted cycles is three is the max. Three is the max is the rule. You've got three times to cross me. Whatever's in my life, it's got three strikes. It's got three strikes for me to realize this is not for me. Strike one, that's a warning. Strike two, that's now my eyes are open. Strike three, you're out. And that's with everything. Strike one, I gave you a warning that this is not what I'd like it's as far as setting boundaries. This is, I told you I don't like this or this is something I don't really, I'm not comfortable with. Second time you do it, now my eyes are open and you apologize and maybe we move on and move forward. The third time you do it, it's a cycle. Now it's a cycle, now it's a pattern. And if I don't break this, you will continue this pattern and I cannot deal with it anymore. Whether it's a person, a relationship, a house, a spouse, a dog, a kid, you do not show it attention after that third strike. Simply move forward. After the third time that this thing has crossed you, I cut it off. I cut off my attention. I cut off my focus. I cut off my words. I cut off my attention whatsoever. My attention in any way does not go towards this thing anymore because now it's a pattern and you're not going to stop it after I allow it to be for the third time. So you must leave. You must go. If you refuse to leave, I will leave for you. There is not an object in your life that cannot be removed with ease. We have so much concern with, I'm going to hurt the feelings of this thing or this is not going to be nice if I leave. It's going to work one more time. Now, it's going to work if I give it one more chance. If this is not towards success, if you're not fighting for success or you're not striving for success to something, there should be no repeats. You know what I mean? You try it, you, you get done with it, and you move on to the next. These rules are simple. Stick with me. The second rule to stop repeating cycles. Pay attention to the way other people are reacting. Pay attention to their reactions. Pay attention to the reactions of the thing that is crossing you. Pay attention to the reaction of what happens when you set the boundaries that this is not okay, I don't like this. I can't allow this cycle to continue again. I can't go, I can't keep dating you if you continue to disrespect my boundaries. I can't keep I can't keep allowing you to cross my boundaries if you're not showing that you respect them at all. If they react in a careless manner, 
that's a red flag that this is going to happen again and quick this person does not care about your feelings this person does not care how you feel about you setting boundaries with them and it just doesn't matter if they react with anger to you setting boundaries this lets you know that obviously they're upset that you have set boundaries and it could get physical this you have to notice it and it's not that you don't see it. A lot of people are not even looking. You're not even paying attention to the way that, these, that other people are speaking to you. Or, you know, there's three times that you have to cross me. Or there's three times, three rules to stop repeating a cycle. You, you set a boundary. You realize, notice your own feelings. I don't like the way that made me feel. That's not cool. I don't like the way you made me feel when you did this. And if they just downplay it, that's going to happen again. That cycle is going to happen again. And this same outcome is going to happen. They never cared about your feelings anyway. So it really doesn't matter what you're talking about. So that's the second rule. Pay attention to others and the way they react to you setting boundaries on something specific. The third rule to never repeating cycles, to stop repeating cycles, is enough is enough. The rule number three is enough is enough. You must become fed up. What do you do when people step on you, when people slide their dirty feet from the mud on your new brand new carpet that you just set down this morning and they walk in your house and they rub their dirty muddy feet on your new rug and they knew that you, you set a boundary. This is metaphorically, okay? But it can be used literally. I told you before coming into my house, you must take your shoes off at the door. But yet you walked in and you slid your dirty, muddy feet across my brand new carpet. You must not react. Your reaction is being fed up. That's your only reaction. Do not show anger as a feminist. The feminine energy is on this channel. You do not show anger. You do not even show that you're upset. Your actions will speak so much louder than your voice. You do not have to raise your voice. We are feminine energies. You do not have to scream. You do not have to yell. You simply tell this thing, enough is enough. I will take no more. You must leave. You're not welcome here. You cross my boundaries and you're disrespecting my boundaries and what I have told you and what I have placed upon our friendship, relationship, whatever ship. They do not respect you. After the third time, I know three seems little. Three seems small. But when you have so much to give and you have so much, you are such a sweet, kind, nice person in which you really are, your chosen one, if you're on this channel watching this video, this is for you because you are usually, you're the soft one. The chosen ones are the sweet ones, the ones that will take more than they can bite, the ones that will deal with those that others will not naturally deal with. The ones that can deal with the energy of people stepping over them. No, I don't like that. That's not how it goes. Now you must leave because you disrespect me. I will not raise my voice or get out of character because I am a queen and you will treat me as so. Now they are shocked. This thing is shocked at your reaction of being fed up. Being fed up is a must when you are dealing with cycles. This cycle will become, will continue after the third time that this thing did not change. And you see, I set a boundary. I said this. I didn't like this. This thing is not working out for me. They obviously still stepping over me. This thing is still, you know, not caring about my feelings or caring about my integrity or respecting me in a, in a respectful way because I would respect them the same. I must go. Now I have to leave. The cycle is over. Are you understanding me? You must get tired of people using you. You must get tired of things not going your way. You must get tired of things going left all the time. You must get tired of things not working out for you. You must get tired of people stepping over you. You must get tired. You must get fed up. And when you get fed up, you, you don't allow things to continue to happen because I said what I said and I meant what I said and I must show you that I mean what I say. And that hurts people's feelings. When you have a, a mindset like that, that hurts people's feelings. Because they expected for you to be their pushover for a long time. They expected for you to 
not stand on what you said for a long time. They're shocked at the way you stood on business. And they don't know what to do with themselves. Now, this could be a thing, a place, a person. It doesn't matter. If it's not going your way, stop the cycle. Get fed up. Get fed up the third time. The third time is always the charm. Not the 20th time. Not 20 years down the line. Not 10 years down the line. Not five years down the line. Not even two years down the line. You cross me in that two years mark, I still must go. You're not... You're not respecting what I say. You're not respecting how I feel. You're not respecting the way that I put down something. You're not picking it up. And somebody else is going to pick it up. And you must get out of my circle, get out of my cycle, and allow me to move on. I'll allow you to move on. And we move on with our lives. Stop repeating the same cycles. You don't have to go through things 20, 30, 40 times to realize this isn't going to work. And that means a job. You don't have to keep repeating the same, going to the same kind of job, hoping to get a different outcome in that same department. You don't like that department. You already saw that on the, on the third straw. This is not the department I would like to be in. This department doesn't treat me fairly. This department doesn't respect my values and wants to pay me at the rate that I, will, that I want to get paid at. So becoming fed up is what you must feel. It's a feeling of being fed up. You have to Trust the feeling of being fed up in a situation and it's just been the last straw. Trust that there's more. Stop feeling like you can't move forward some way. Because when people are stuck in cycles, you have a fear of success moving forward. You are afraid that you are not going to make it if you leave this cycle where it is. You're afraid of your own potential. You're afraid of your own potential. This is off the dome. I don't write notes. You're scared of your own potential when you are stuck in a cycle with something, someone, some, some person. You're scared of your own results. You're scared of other results possibly working out for you. And what type of insanity this is that? I'm telling you, you're watching this video, you're not insane. So stop acting like you're insane. You're not insane. Stop repeating the cycle with something, some person, some place that is not pleasing you. That's not working out in your favor. That's not working out in your favor. It does not work for you. So you must move forward. Whether that's moving to a new place, you know how quick I will move. I will pick up and move if the place is not working out for me. It has three strikes for three things to go wrong. And that doesn't mean it has to be perfect. They, everything doesn't have to be perfect. But it must make sense. And when you're repeating a cycle after the third time, it's going to repeat itself again. There is no change. Okay? There is not going to be a change after the third straw. This is now a pattern. After the third time, it becomes a pattern. So stop repeating cycles. Sure, you, take, you took notes on these three rules and how to move forward with your life. Have fun. Create. This is what we're here to do. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel for you to get updates when I upload my next video. Thank you for being here. And until next time, make sure you share this video with somebody that is needing help stopping cycles. Thank you for being here and I look forward to you guys subscribing to my channel and liking this video and sharing it with somebody you love. Put the phrase stop cycles at the end of this video if you have watched all the way through. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Until next time.